I am in just south of the city of Nagano and I'm cycling on the bike on a uh, beautiful maintained uh, bike path and today I'm uh, coming out to look at a 6th century burial mound here in Japan they call them Kofuns. I'm really shocked at how far this this flood bank road goes. Fantastic uh, cycling path here. So I'm cycling right into a headwind, which has definitely slowed my speed. And there to the left, right in front of you, is Nagano, which you can't see because we're far off on the side. But it's right there. There's rain over there in the distance. You can see the fog on the mountain, and that's rain. So the goal today was to cycle down this path pretty long distance and then turn around and look at the uh, burial mound. But I can see big rain over there. I don't have my old rain kit. So I'm definitely turning around and uh, going back this way. All right, so I've turned back around. You can see blue skies this direction, but the rain is just behind me. And I'm really cycling hard now. I mean, this really sucks. This storm came out of absolutely nowhere. Ah, the rain. It's here. So we're getting pretty close to the uh, burial chamber, the uh, Kofun the burial mound. So just ahead, um, on top of that hill right there is the Kofu, and you can see the tan area. That's a bit of the rock work. And uh, looks like it's going to be quite a bit of a, a climb if they let me cycle up there or a hike. Either or. Uh, it looks fun. All right, so I got the bike secure, and now I'm walking up the uh, footpath. That's really unfortunate. I've been walking up this hill for about 10 minutes now. And I'll uh, recant on what I said about cycling up it. It's, it's pretty steep. It's just showing a little map of, uh, you know, I'm walking up that zigzag all the way up to the uh, tomb here. Let me tell you, that's a heck of a climb. Just take a look at that. This is just a massive tomb. And this was built during the Kofun period, which was a, uh, and period in time in which these things were just being built all over the country. I'm just climbing up the top here. And, uh, you know, I mean, this is, most of this has been restored to some degree. Um, a lot of it has been destroyed by grave robbers throughout antiquity. I'm just climbing up to the highest point to this burial mound. Wow, what a view. And I suppose directly in this chamber is where the body would have uh, been laid to rest. But none of that's in here now because of grave robbers. Grave robbers. Look at that view. So this kofun is called a, a keyho keyhole kofun, but it's a little odd because it's not symmetrical. You see that it kind of bends a little bit. And uh, what it's doing is following the contour of the mountain that it's sitting on. And here it is just here. You can just kind of see the bend going in around here. And these uh, terracotta pots are all over the top of the Kofun. It was just there to, you know, for ceremonial purposes or aesthetic purposes, but none of these are original. So this Kofun is called Moi Shogunzuka Kofun, um, just in Chikuma City, just outside of Nagano. In fact, this is the largest um, Kofun in, in Nagano, the prefecture. It's about 100 meters in length. And what's also interesting is this mound has the largest burial chamber in uh, one of the largest in Japan and certainly the largest in eastern Japan. Another key uh, interesting fact about this is, uh, is all around this tomb, they found about 76 other smaller tombs. And they believe that this is connected to whoever this important individual was, uh, relatives, family, maybe slaves, servants, uh, don't necessarily know. So this was built in the third third century AD, uh, so it's about 17, 1800 years old, and uh, really cool.